Welcome to the Forteo Starter Kit. This DVD will help you understand how Forteo can help build new bone and show you how your Forteo treatment can fit into your everyday life. Throughout this video, you'll also hear important safety information about Forteo. Forteo is used in both men and postmenopausal women with osteoporosis who are at a high risk for having broken bones or fractures. Forteo is also used in both men and women with osteoporosis due to the use of glucocorticoid medicines, such as prednisone, for several months and who are at a high risk for having broken bones or fractures. Forteo can be used by people who have had fracture related to osteoporosis or who have several risk factors for fracture or who can't use other osteoporosis treatments. Forteo is a prescription medicine given by injection. There is a potential risk of osteosarcoma with Forteo. During the drug testing process, the medicine in Forteo caused some rats to develop a bone cancer called osteosarcoma. In people, osteosarcoma is a serious but rare cancer. Osteosarcoma has been reported rarely in people who took Forteo. It is not known if people who take Forteo have a higher chance of getting osteosarcoma. Before you take Forteo, you should tell your healthcare provider if you have Paget's disease of bone, are a child or young adult whose bones are still growing, or have had radiation therapy. Now let's meet some people who are about to start on Forteo. I thought I was doing everything I could to manage my osteoporosis. Staying active, taking calcium and vitamin D supplements. But one day when I was lifting a laundry basket, I, I must have done it the wrong way. When I went to the doctor, he told me that my osteoporosis had gotten so severe that I had suffered an osteoporotic fracture in my back. After my bone mineral density test, I, I found out I had a T-score of a minus 2.7 in my spine. My doctor told me that my osteoporotic fracture meant that I was at a high risk for another fracture due to osteoporosis. Hmm? That I should do something about it. Osteoporosis can get worse over time until your bones become fragile enough that they can fracture while doing an everyday activity you've done for years, like lifting a laundry basket the wrong way. A few years back, I broke my wrist because of my osteoporosis. A few months ago, I had a fall. Oh. And at the hospital, the doctor told me I had an osteoporotic fracture in my hip. He said that I might want to consider Forteo, a drug that could actually help build new bone sounded interesting to me. Before starting your treatment, it's important to know that you should not take Forteo for more than two years over your lifetime. I used to be 6'1", but my wife noticed that I didn't seem as tall as I used to be. I talked to my doctor, and after some tests, he found osteoporotic fractures in my spine that helped explain my height loss. He pointed out that I'm at high risk for another osteoporotic fracture and we talked about treating my osteoporosis with Forteo. I was definitely surprised when I realized my osteoporosis had gotten this severe. So, you know, I felt I was too young for this to happen. I mean, I'm only 75. When I finally got over the initial shock, I thought, I don't want another fracture at my age. So, I was willing to do whatever it took to reduce the risk of breaking another bone due to osteoporosis. Realizing that you are at a high risk for an osteoporotic fracture may cause you some concern. Forteo is the only anabolic osteoporosis medicine that helps build new bone. In a clinical study of postmenopausal women with osteoporosis, Forteo significantly increased bone mineral density by 3.9% at three months. In another clinical study of men with osteoporosis, due to low testosterone, Forteo significantly increased bone mineral density in the spine by 2.4% at three months. In postmenopausal women with osteoporosis, Forteo can reduce the risk of osteoporotic fractures in the spine and other bones in the body. 
In a clinical study of postmenopausal women with osteoporosis, Forteo reduced the risk of new spine fractures by 65% relative risk reduction, or 9.3% absolute risk reduction. It's important to know that before you take Forteo, you should tell your healthcare provider if you have a bone disease other than osteoporosis, have cancer in your bones, have trouble injecting yourself and do not have someone who can help you, have or have had kidney stones, have or have had too much calcium in your blood, take medications that contain digoxin, such as digoxin, linoxacaps, or linoxin, or have any other medical conditions. Forteo is taken using a delivery device that helps you inject your medicine. A nurse educator will now explain how to use Forteo. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. Uh, I've never given myself a shot before, and I'm not sure how I'll do. Oh, that's okay. A lot of people have that same concern. We'll go over how it's done step by step. With some practice, you'll find that the delivery device is easy to use and becomes a part of your daily life, like taking your calcium and vitamin D. Are you ready to get started? I think so. First of all, before you use the Forteo delivery device, please read the entire front and back of the user manual completely. You'll find it in the front pocket of the booklet that comes in your starter kit, and it's also included in each Forteo prescription. Follow the directions carefully when using the Forteo delivery device. Here are a few things you need to know before using Forteo. Do not transfer Forteo to a syringe, do not share your delivery device or needles, as infection or disease can be spread from one person to another. The Forteo delivery device contains 28 days of medicine. Throw away the Forteo delivery device after 28 days, even if it's not completely empty. Do not inject more than one dose of Forteo in the same day. Next, make sure you have a clean space to work in, with room to put your Forteo delivery device down. You should always wash your hands before every injection and prepare the injection site the way your healthcare provider instructs. Okay so far? Okay. Now, pull off the white cap from your Forteo delivery device. You should check the delivery device label to make sure you have the right medicine mm -hmm. and that the medicine hasn't expired. Do not use the device if it looks damaged or if the medicine has particles in it. The medicine should be clear and colorless. Next, you attach a new needle. The Forteo delivery device needle is significantly smaller than the needle used for a typical flu shot. This is the needle cover. Inside, you'll find the needle. Its tip is covered by a small purple protector. Make sure you keep the protector on until right before you're ready to inject. Now that we've seen the parts of the needle, let's go over how to attach it to the delivery device. To attach the needle, remove the paper tab on the large needle cover. Now simply push it straight onto the medicine cartridge. Then you screw it on in a clockwise motion until it's firmly attached. You can pull off the large needle cover and save it, but leave the small needle protector on until you're ready to inject. Got it. Good. The next thing you're going to do is set your dose. You do this by pulling out the black injection button until it stops. Check to make sure that the red stripe is showing. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready to pull off the small needle protector, which you can throw away. You can see how small this needle is. Now you're ready to inject the dose. Okay, I'll give it a try. When you give yourself the injection, gently hold a fold of skin on your thigh or abdomen. Holding the delivery device in your hand with your thumb on the black injection button, insert the needle straight into the skin. Push in the black injection button with your thumb until it stops. Hold it in and count to five slowly. One, One two, two, three, four, five. five. You must wait till the count of five to make sure you receive the correct dose. Then pull the needle straight out from the skin. Once the needle is removed from the skin, take your thumb off the black injection button. Check to make sure the black injection button is in all the way. If the yellow shaft does not show, you have finished the injection properly, just like that. Now you need to confirm you've gotten the right dose. 
Remember, you should not see any of the yellow shaft. If you do see the yellow shaft and have already injected the medicine, do not inject yourself a second time on the same day. Instead, you must reset the Forteo delivery device. Refer to the troubleshooting section, Problem A, on the back page of your user manual. You must use a new needle each time you inject yourself with Forteo. To remove the needle you've just used, place the large needle cover on a flat surface and scoop it onto the needle. Do not try to put the needle cover back on with your hands. Push it in and unscrew the covered needle all the way by giving the large needle cover three to five counterclockwise turns. Pull the needle off and throw it away in a puncture resistant container. Never reuse your needles. Follow your local or state laws for disposal of the delivery device and use needles. For more information regarding disposal, visit forteo.com slash disposal and download the Sharps Disposal Brochure. After disposing of your needle, push the white cap back onto the delivery device. Now that you're done, put the Forteo delivery device in its storage case and put it back in the refrigerator. You can clean the Forteo delivery device by wiping the outside of the device with a damp cloth, but never put it in water or wash it with any liquid. If you had told me six months ago that I'd be giving myself a shot every day, I wouldn't have believed you. But I think I'll be able to do it. This was just a demonstration. Before you try to inject Forteo yourself, a healthcare provider should teach you how to use the Forteo delivery device to give your injection the right way. Inject Forteo one time each day in your thigh or abdomen, the lower stomach area. Do not inject all the medicine in the Forteo delivery device at any one time. Do not transfer the medicine from the Forteo delivery device to a syringe. This can result in taking the wrong dose of Forteo. If you take more Forteo than prescribed, call your healthcare provider. If you take too much Forteo, you may have nausea, vomiting, weakness, or dizziness. You should also know that Forteo may cause increased calcium in your blood. Tell your healthcare provider if you have nausea, vomiting, constipation, low energy, or muscle weakness. These may be signs that there is too much calcium in your blood. In this next conversation, you'll learn how to use your Forteo travel bag so you can continue your therapy even when you're away from home. I can handle the injections, but we travel a lot. Will I still be able to continue my Forteo therapy even when I'm on the road? Actually, your Forteo delivery device can be easily stored inside your travel bag, oh. which keeps your Forteo at a cool and safe temperature for up to 10 hours when you travel. Oh. That way, Forteo helps build new bone even on the go. The insulated travel bag has compartments for your Forteo delivery device storage case and two gel packs, which are included. Just put the two gel packs in the freezer. In, in fact, you can just keep them in there when you're not traveling. That way, they'll be frozen solid and ready to go whenever you are. Always keep your delivery device in its storage case in the refrigerator, never the freezer. Do not store the travel bag in your refrigerator. It's meant for occasional use. Here's how you use it. First, unzip the travel bag. Take your frozen gel packs from the freezer and insert them into the front and back gel pack compartments. Okay. Next, get your delivery device storage case from the refrigerator and put it in the middle compartment and secure the cover. There you go. Check to make sure you have enough needles. Zip the travel bag closed and you're good to go. I'm ready. This will keep your Forteo at a cool and safe temperature for up to 10 hours at normal room temperature, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit and under. Using the travel bag in extreme heat above 86 degrees Fahrenheit may shorten the length of time your medication will be protected in the travel bag. If your travel plans require that the delivery device remain out of the refrigerator for longer than 10 hours, you should call 1-866-4-FORTEO for specific instructions for extended travel with your medication. 
If you're not able to freeze the gel packs, refrigerated gel packs will provide three hours of safe storage temperature inside the travel bag. Do not use gel packs which have not been provided by Lilly. But it's important to remember, do not use Forteo if it has been frozen. Do not use Forteo after the expiration date printed on the delivery device and packaging. Also, throw away the Forteo delivery device after 28 days, even if it has medicine in it. It's important for you to know that Forteo can cause serious side effects, including a decrease in blood pressure when you change positions. Some people feel dizzy, get a fast heartbeat, or feel faint right after the first few doses. This usually happens within four hours of taking Forteo and goes away within a few hours. For the first few doses, take your injections of Forteo in a place where you can sit or lie down right away if you get these symptoms. If your symptoms get worse or do not go away, stop taking Forteo and call your healthcare provider. Keep your Forteo travel bag with you. If you're traveling by car, do not put it in the trunk. And if you're traveling by plane, do not check your travel bag with your checked luggage. When you arrive at your destination, you should remove the gel packs from your travel bag and put them in the freezer. Then remove the delivery device storage case from the travel bag and store it in the refrigerator. Do not store your delivery device in the freezer. You should tell your healthcare provider if you are pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant. It is not known if Forteo will harm your unborn baby. If you are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, it is not known if Forteo passes into your breast milk. You and your healthcare provider should decide if you will take Forteo or breastfeed. You should not do both. Because it's so important to follow the entire Forteo treatment plan, the Forteo Connect program was created to be there with you every step of the way. At no extra cost to you, Forteo Connect provides one-on-one -on -one support throughout your therapy. When you are ready, your doctor can enroll you to get access to insurance specialists who can help find your lowest out-of-pocket option and eligibility for patient assistance programs. You can also enroll and choose an injection training option with a registered nurse that works best for you, either over the phone, in a small class, or one-on-one -on -one training in your own home. You can have a personal support specialist to answer questions you may have about Forteo and osteoporosis. They'll be available for the full course of your Forteo treatment to help ensure your success. To learn more, call 1-866-4-FORTEO or go to www.forteoconnect.com. Do not use Forteo if you are allergic to any of the ingredients in Forteo. Serious allergic reactions have been reported. Common side effects of Forteo include nausea, joint aches, pain, leg cramps, and injection site reactions, including injection site pain, swelling, and bruising. These are not all the possible side effects of Forteo. The Forteo Patient Registry follows people who have taken Forteo in order to collect information about the long-term safety of Forteo, including any potential risk of osteosarcoma. And by joining our efforts, you're supporting an important study that can help other Forteo patients. To join, follow the steps on the pre-enrollment form addressed to RTI International enclosed in your starter kit. Once you have returned your completed registration and consent forms, you will not be contacted again. I want to do this. I want to help reduce the risk of future fractures due to postmenopausal osteoporosis. I know why I need Forteo, and now I feel like I can really do this. For me, I'm ready to help build new bone with Forteo. Forteo helps build new bone. We've already shared some safety information, but before we finish, we'd like to review it again and share some additional important safety information. Important safety information about Forteo. What is the most important information I should know about Forteo? 
Warning, potential risk of osteosarcoma. During the drug testing process, the medicine in Forteo caused some rats to develop a bone cancer called osteosarcoma. In people, osteosarcoma is a serious but rare cancer. Osteosarcoma has been reported rarely in people who took Forteo. It is not known if people who take Forteo have a higher chance of getting osteosarcoma. Before you take Forteo, you should tell your healthcare provider if you have Paget's disease of bone, are a child or young adult whose bones are still growing, or have had radiation therapy. Who should not take Forteo? You should not take Forteo for more than two years over your lifetime. Do not use Forteo if you are allergic to any of the ingredients in Forteo. Serious allergic reactions have been reported. What should I tell my healthcare provider before taking Forteo? Before you take Forteo, you should tell your healthcare provider if you have a bone disease other than osteoporosis, have cancer in your bones, have trouble injecting yourself and do not have someone who can help you, have or have had kidney stones, have or have had too much calcium in your blood, take medications that contain digoxin, digoxin, linoxicaps, linoxin, or have any other medical conditions. You should also tell your healthcare provider before you take Forteo if you are pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant. It is not known if Forteo will harm your unborn baby. If you are breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, it is not known if Forteo passes into your breast milk. You and your healthcare provider should decide if you will take Forteo or breastfeed. You should not do both. What are the possible side effects of Forteo? Forteo can cause serious side effects, including a decrease in blood pressure when you change positions. Some people feel dizzy, get a fast heartbeat, or feel faint right after the first few doses. This usually happens within four hours of taking Forteo and goes away within a few hours. For the first few doses, take your injections of Forteo in a place where you can sit or lie down right away if you get these symptoms. If your symptoms get worse or do not go away, stop taking Forteo and call your healthcare provider. Forteo may also cause increased calcium in your blood. Tell your healthcare provider if you have nausea, vomiting, constipation, low energy, or muscle weakness. These may be signs there is too much calcium in your blood. Common side effects of Forteo include nausea, joint aches, pain, leg cramps, and injection site reactions, including injection site pain, swelling, and bruising. These are not all the possible side effects of Forteo. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. Additional safety information about Forteo. There is a voluntary patient registry for people who take Forteo. The purpose of the registry is to collect information about the possible risk of osteosarcoma in people who take Forteo. For information about how to sign up for this patient registry, call 1-866-382-6813 or go to www.forteoregistry.org. The Forteo delivery device has enough medicine for 28 days. It is set to give a 20 microgram dose of medicine each day. Before you try to inject Forteo yourself, a healthcare provider should teach you how to use the Forteo delivery device to give your injection the right way. Inject Forteo one time each day in your thigh or abdomen, lower stomach area. Do not inject all the medicine in the Forteo delivery device at any one time. Do not transfer the medicine from the Forteo delivery device to a syringe. This can result in taking the wrong dose of Forteo. If you take more Forteo than prescribed, call your healthcare provider. If you take too much Forteo, you may have nausea, vomiting, 
weakness, or dizziness. How should I store Forteo? Keep your Forteo delivery device in the refrigerator between 36 degrees Fahrenheit to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze the Forteo delivery device. Do not use Forteo if it has been frozen. Do not use Forteo after the expiration date printed on the delivery device and packaging. Throw away the Forteo delivery device after 28 days, even if it has medicine in it.